poor car. What? I'm over speeding? No, not at all, really. I'm sure of that. What I have to do now? A message? Oh, it's my insurer. Yeah, I have an accident. Oh. Hmm, compile now, I will request support. Hello. Ah. Oh. Good afternoon. Good my afternoon. Na my name is Nick Street, and I'm calling from Wedge Insurance. Um, I believe you've been involved in a small accident at an intersection, but don't worry, we're here to help. Yeah. How you know that? Ah, well, our wedge device, which is mounted in the windscreen of your car, detected the impact right. and sent the details to us via your smartphone. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Okay, good. Is anyone injured? Do you require any emergency assistance or recovery? Uh, no, no one injured, apart from my car, of course. But yeah, I think that is drivable. Okay, excellent. Um, can you explain what happened, please? Yeah, I'm just driving along and when this car pulled out and bumped my car on the driver's side, on the front. Okay, are you sure it was the driver's side at the front? Only our system indicates that the damage was to the left-hand side? Yeah, you're right. Here we are in UK. The driver's side on the other part, the right, yours. Okay, not to worry. Sorry. Um, uh, it also indicates that you had to swerve to try and avoid a, a, an obstacle, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to turn right, but I was not able to avoid the accident. Okay. Um, and did you know that there was a second impact to the vehicle? Uh, no, no, really, I don't know. Okay. Um, so perhaps you could have a look around the vehicle. Um, I believe there might be an impact to the rear, perhaps towards the driver's side. Oh, yes, uh, there is also another car. Oh, hello. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Great. Um, and, and I believe that's perhaps light damage. Yeah, very light, just some scuffs on the back. Okay, um, so in your opinion, who was, to, who was at fault for the accident, sir? So, I think that the car that pulled out from the left is at fault, but he pretends that I'm over speeding. I was over speeding at the moment of the crash. Okay, so I can see that you had right away from the road signs and the markings yeah. on the road that I can see on Google Maps. Um, and the driver that was approaching from your left-hand side uh, would have been uh, required to give way. Uh, and don't worry, uh, I can see from the data that you weren't speeding, that you were approaching the accident scene at around 25 miles an hour. And I'm going to proceed with your claim as a non-fault. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Could you follow the instructions in the smartphone app, please? Uh, oh, yeah, I will. Great, and ensure that you capture all the details, including the number of occupants in the vehicle. Okay. Good. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, thank you, my guardian angel. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, thank you, Nick. Um, we have just shown you what can really happen in case of an accident. But what I'd like to underline that is not something that belongs to the future but it's something that really can happen today and is a pretty common experience from many of my compatriots in Italy where we have uh, more or less 8 million of vehicles already connected with the insurance. And this is a common practice to use this kind of technology to support the, uh, the, the policyholders and the customer in case of accident. So, but before to talk about our technology, I'd like just to have a, a little insight about what happened, the real impact, the dynamic of this impact, that of course, we can derive directly from the data. So the car is going along this road when uh, a car pulled it out from the left without respecting the way of, or the, the right of way. And after that, the car that followed the customer one slightly bumped on the right, so probably he tried to avoid the accident, but he cannot do that.
What happened in terms of technology? Uh, in case of uh, accident, we have a, a small device installed on the windshield of the car. That is, I have to find it. Okay, this one, very small one, that transmitted the data directly to the phone of the, of the customer in case of accident. This device is able to recognize more or less any kind of accident, also the small one. And the data from the smartphone are transmitted to the data center where an intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence engine is capable to analyze in real time the data and recognize if we are in front of a real accident or another type of solicitation, like a pothole or something like this. After that, the, uh, if the system recognizes the event like a real accident, a report is pushed back to the phone of the customer in less than 10 seconds and uh, is requested to the customer uh, a confirmation of the event and eventually, if a confirmed event is driven in a process, a very quick process of F0 that it can drive directly by the phone or it can call, uh, it can call uh, for assistance like uh, in uh, our example and the process on the phone is really, really easy. Many data are pre-compiled, like the address of the accident, the data of the customer, and others could be collected uh, just taking some pictures, like the data of the car, or the data related to the insurance card. After having collected all the data, the customer can review them, and they can be sent over to the insurer, and of course, to the IMS system, and they will be compared with the telematics data recorded just to assess the declaration of the customer. And let's just talk about this small device. The good thing of this device that is very easy to be installed inside the car, we have just to peel the double tape and stick on the windshield. Then, using a, a, a dedicated process on the smartphone, in few minutes, it's possible to pair this device with the smartphone of the customer and with the smartphone of his, uh, the other people that use the car. And after that, no any other interaction is requested to the customer. So very easy to be installed, very easy to be used, and especially very cheap. But let we have a look at the data collected by this system. Data are reported on uh, a web portal that, of course, could be accessed via uh, dedicated credential or thanks to an integration with APIs. And we can see all the characteristics of the accident. So the different points of impacts, the magnitude of any impacts, the level of confidence of this accident, uh, all the data related to the vehicle and uh, like the car registration number, the model, the, the type of device installed, and so on. And other interesting information about the accident, including the response of the customer, and eventually the report sent over via the app. The other interesting part of this tool is that we can, of course, explore a little bit the, the scene of the accident. So what happened, really? We have this events tab where we can navigate in the path of the vehicle before and after the impact and understand exactly what happened, the direction of the car, the dynamic, and just moving the cursor over the different points, we can uh, obtain additional data, such as the speed. That of course is absolutely useful. We have seen in the example that the claim handler already know the speed of impact. And thanks to the street view tool, we can explore a little bit the environment and, the and, and understand the boundary condition of the impact. And like in this example, the claim handler can see in real time that exists a giveaway signals. The other tool is the chart tabs where we can uh, review the raw data collected by the device. So the accelerations, the speed, the gyroscope information, all this data are the ones that are used to establish the dynamic of the accident, but of course they can also use it to uh, provide additional data in case we have to go in front of a court or we have to investigate an heavy accident.
And now some few numbers about our company. Of course, to provide this kind of service, it's really important to have uh, some good key performance indicator, especially the capability to detect any type of claim. So today we are above the 78% of claims detected through advice. It's as well important to reduce at a minimum value the number of false alarm, of false notification, not really related to the claim. And our system is capable to reduce the false alarm by 99.9%. And finally, of course, also the experience in providing this kind of services and support the company on this uh, uh, new approach to the claim management is important. And we have more than 10 years of experience on this particular service. Some facts and figures instead uh, that uh, represent the benefits that you can obtain uh, from this kind of service. And these are the numbers obtained by some of our customers that have already applied for some years from, from the, this technology here in UK. The first number, the 70% of claim uh, that could be open in a digital channel, and this means a lot of savings in terms of management. 4% of claim immediately identify as fraud, and so rejected. 5% of steering from at fault at not at fault accident. 50% of reduction in claim paid for minimal and minor injuries. And most important, 20% of average reduction of the cost of compensation and 60% of reduction in legal cost. Of course, it's not just a matter of technology. It's important also to have the right partner to approach to this kind of uh, service. And our type of approach is what we I love to, uh, to call a consultancy approach, where we really like to design together with the insurer the in, an improved process, starting from the existing claim process, adding just some small trim and some targeted and uh, in interven um, change in the process so that the insurer can have all the benefits of the technology without uh, any revolution in the standard process. We offer support in redesign any claim process for, to integrate the system. Of course, we provide assistance and training to the claim handlers. And finally, any tools, any features could be easily integrated in the existing claim portal of the company through APIs. I hope that you are a little bit more interested in uh, what could be the telematics technology about claims. Thank you to everyone and thank you to my colleague Nick. Um, now, if there are some questions or... Thank you very much, Marco.